We have a unique procedure to weld a correct cylinder head. All cylinder head welding is done with an acetylene torch, cast iron rod, and cast iron welding flux. After cleaning and magnafluxing the cylinder head, it is put into an oven and preheated to 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. The cracks are then cut out using an acetylene torch welding tip with the oxygen turned up to create a cutting flame. The crack looks just like a white line in the middle of the molten puddle of cast iron metal. The welder keeps removing the metal until the white line is gone, or until they reach the water jacket. Then the welder can start the welding process. All cast iron welding must be done in the flat position because you have to melt the parent material before you add any cast iron filler rod. The welder must concentrate to ensure that the tie-in welds not be done until the parent material is melting at the correct temperature. After the weld is complete, the welder must normalize the head to a constant temperature that could be as high as 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Once that is done, the welder will slowly lower the temperature of the cylinder head to the point where he shuts the oven off and it eventually reaches room temperature.